Hey, I'm Chase, Community Manager at Sorcery Contested Realm. And I'm Ira Fay, Game Developer. And today we're going to be playing with the beta pre-cons for Sorcery Contested Realm. And I'm going to be playing the Flame Caller. And I will be playing the Wave Shaper. So the Flame Caller is actually really cool in that uh, its special ability, what makes it unique, is that it can banish all your dead fire minions and then shoot a projectile. And that projectile deals damage equal to the sum of their threshold. So we have to pull together a big blast and shoot it down towards you. Yes, I will try and stay out of the way. <laughs> and what does the, the wave shape do? Uh, I have an ability to flood a site near my body of water, and then I tap all the non-submerged minions there. So oh, okay. uh, probably your minions. And then they stay tapped, <laughs> and then they stay tapped for a turn, and that site stays flooded until I use the ability again. All right, well, this is a classic matchup of fire versus water. Yeah. Uh, who should go first? You can go first. Oh, why, thank you. <laughs> so I'm going to draw my three cards from my spell book. Yeah. And my three cards from my atlas. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do that, oh, I guess the first thing we do is check to see if we want to mulligan anything. Yeah. And this one's very cool. I'm going to hold it. Maybe it'll eventually pay off. Probably not, but maybe eventually. And uh, I'm looking for something that will help me move my avatar out of the way of this projectile that's going to be coming at me at some point. So I'm going to mulligan that one site. And uh, you know what, I'll get rid of this one too because I have a bunch of those in yeah. my... And then these have a significant disadvantage, um, but I'm gonna keep them because my avatar's ability. So I'm actually perfectly happy with my... Um, you know what, I'm gonna get rid of this one. Oh, this, is, this is defensive, <laughs> this is defensive. I'm gonna go a little, a little offensive. So I'm gonna mulligan one spell and two sites. That's my plan. All right, I'm gonna stick with mine. And I'm okay. kind of going to go with like a little bit of Napoleon strategy. First, I'm going to show up, and, and then I'm going to see what happens. <laughs> okay. so, so here we go. Good luck. All right. So I'm going to go first. I'm going to tap my Flame Caller, and I'm going to play a Sight, which is an Arid Desert. Genesis, deal one damage to each minion atop target nearby Sight. Flame Caller is not a minion, uh, so he just pings that for one, and that's my turn. Great. I will draw a spell for the start of my turn. And uh, I'll tap to play this Autumn River, which on Genesis lets me look at my next spell and keep it on top or bottom. Um, this is perfectly nice. I'll keep it on top. And it's your turn. Okay, so I'm going to untap now. I get to pick from either of my Atlas or my spell book. It's always my choice, so I have absolute control over essentially the cards in my hand. Uh, I've got... Um, I think I'm feeling pretty good at what I've got here. I want to see if maybe I could fish for another card. Uh, maybe like a minion or a spell or something I could cast. So I'm going to take something from my spell book. Perfect, actually. Hmm, how aggressive do I want to be? So the problem is that water can sometimes be a deck that, uh, if it's given enough time, you can get some pretty scary stuff down. So I might be <laughs> a little aggressive. I've had experiences in the past, I'll just say, where that's mm -hmm. gone wrong. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to uh, tap my flame caller, and I'm going to play another desert, this time a red desert. Yep. Uh, there's nothing I can really ping for damage. And now that I've got two uh, mana down, I'm going to play a Rimland Nomad, which has movement plus one. Uh, they take no damage from deserts. Now, they've got movement plus one, which means that in addition to their normal space they can move when they move, they can take an additional step. Yep. I could probably play it back here, uh, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it up front and be a little aggressive and see what you do. Okay. Okay, that's I'll, it. I'll untap. I'm going to draw a site for the turn. Okay, this is the the spell the site that I was looking for. Uh, I'm gonna tap my avatar. I'm gonna play Undertow, uh, and it says, staying within this body of water, move target unit, which includes avatars. There are not many effects that move avatars, but this is one of them. Uh, move target unit one step. So I'm just gonna get out of the way of your. Uh, uh, I see at how some it is right off the, the bat. future. There's going to be. And I think okay, this was fair, a great, this was a nice place to play it because that way when you, if you play a site here, you'll be able to move two and attack me. Mm -hmm. So um, I don't have anything for two. So it is your turn. Go okay. right ahead. Uh, I'm going to draw, let's draw from my Atlas. And of course I will untap. Yeah. I'm going to play, I'm going to tap him again. <laughs> I'm going to yeah. play a remote desert. Okay. And now I've got some options here. I've got three mana and three fire threshold. You do. I'll start actually by attacking with my Rimland Nomad. Now, normally you can move and attack. Because I have movement plus one, yeah. I can take an additional step and I can attack. Yep, I can't do anything. I'm down to 18. I felt a little bit safer about doing that because obviously your stuff is tapped and can't defend. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and then I'm going to play some Pit Vipers and I'm going to play them 
above the ground. I've had bad experiences in the past with Ira where he's drowned my <laughs> burrowed minions. <laughs> Getting flooded. Uh, yeah. You know, so there are some effects that can uh, flood areas that he has in his hand. So that mm -hmm. was one mana out of my three. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then I was going to play a Wayfaring Pilgrim way back here. <laughs> okay. Whenever Wayfaring Pilgrim enters each corner of the realm for the first time, you get to draw a card. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think I'll be getting to that corner without having to go through you. So I'll, you know, have him in the back for a little while. Okay. And that's it. Okay. I untap. I know what this is. I'm going to draw it now because I need it. And uh, I will play, I will tap. I will play, I think I'm going to put a flood plane here. This is going to mm. let me flood this and get in there and attack it. Yeah, that's fine. And then I'm going to play my Coral Reef Kelpie right here. It's a defensive play, but that way, if I played it here, you could move and attack here. But by playing it here, I can step here and attack, a block, a defend, or here, or here. So, so I'm defending all my sites. In case people are tuning in for the first time, and this is their first game of sorcery, they busted out their precons. So yeah. how does defense actually work then? Well, I can take one step with this minion and then uh, defend an against an attack. Okay. So if you're attacking, I can take one step and then defend. And if they were submerged, that one step would be going to the surface. Exactly, right. So it's one step to go up or one step to go down or one step to an adjacent site. Perfect. Your turn. Okay. I'm going to draw from my spell book. la di da that floodplain. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, let's see. Uh, I'm going to untap my flame collar, but then tap it again to play a red desert down here. Yep. I will. That brings me up to one, two, three, four mana. I'm going to have my pit vipers move. Yeah. These guys are untapped. And now the problem with that is you've got a three power creature there. So I'm going to actually go, let's get the hell out of here and go one two, okay. and move all the way back, starting to take a little bit of defensive line, but I'm ready to strike next turn, so watch out. Okay, sounds all good. Right, your turn. My turn? All right, I untap. I will draw a sight for the turn. Okay, that's a fun one. I will tap and play a Maelstrom over here. Mm. This gives me a little flexibility about where my units go. It says at the start of my turn, I can pull each minion in this body of water, one step. So that'll give me some options. And now I play my Sea Serpent over here. Ooh. This is the one I was talking about at the beginning of the game. It has um, water bound, which means if it goes outside of the water, it's disabled and basically doesn't strike back and um, can't do much. But uh, because of this flood plane, I can flood over here. Also, my Wave Shaper ability may be useful there. So your turn. All right, I'm gonna draw an Atlas site. Okay. And these are untapped. These are now all untapped. So my Wayfaring Pilgrim's ready to sit back there and think about the corners of the realm that he will most likely never travel to in this game. <laughs> uh, the uh, Rimland Nomads, let's see how to do this. They're going to move one. Okay. Um, they I'm, could move two. Could move two. Okay, you're happy with that. There's only going one for now. Okay, fair enough. Oh, for, yeah, for this turn. I'm going to tap my Flame Caller. Yeah. I'm going to put down an arid desert. Yeah. And I'm going to ping your sea serpent for one damage. Okay, it has been pinged. So now it is down to three life. And it's never a good thing, right, when you take partial damage. Yeah, see what happens. And then for two, I'm going to play fire bolts. Yeah. And I'm going to shoot three projectiles yeah. down towards your sea serpent. Great. Now, the way projectiles work, though, yeah. first is, right, you get to choose their origin point, right? So I can start in one square ahead of my uh, flame caller, or I could start in the zone itself, but in that case, it would hit I'd be hitting my own stuff, so yeah. I'm just Great. getting a clear shot down. See you later, Sea Serpent. Okay. Let's tempt fate here, and I'm going to have my Pit Vipers move up and attack your Floodplain. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll take that damage. I go to 17. Okay. And then my Wayfaring Pilgrim actually are going to move up one zone. Okay. Uh, on one region. I untap. I'll start by drawing a Sight. And I, I could have used this, but uh, that's fine. I didn't. I will tap my uh, Wave Shaper to... It's interesting. I could attack you. I think I'm not going to bother with that. I'm going to play... Yeah, I'll play Undertow. Aha. 
I will move your... Oh, interesting. Uh, you know, before I play Undertow, here's yep. here's how to do it. Before I play Undertow, I'm going to flood this uh, desert. Mm -hmm. Then I play Undertow, bringing your Rimla Nomads oh, no! uh, nearby. Uh, I will then attack with my Coral Reef Kelpie into your Nomads. So okay. that'll take care of your Nomads. Yep. And then I will play, for three mana, I will play Drown on your um, pit, pit vipers. vipers. I feel like every game we play, somehow my pit vipers <laughs> end up drowning yeah. in some manner. Yeah, uh, that's the end of my turn. This flooding effect goes away because the floodplain only lasts for my turn. Okay. If I use my wave shaper ability, then um, that lasts until I use it again. Meanwhile, the flame caller's like, what, what just happened? <laughs> Everything's dead. <laughs> it's your turn. I will, uh, one, two, three, four, five. I'm at five. I feel like I probably don't need to get that much more mana. I'm gonna draw from my spell book. Well, there, that's interesting. I'm gonna drop for five a Ascalon Phoenix, uh, which is airborne, which allows them to not only move adjacent to adjacent zones, but also to nearby. So I can actually fly on a diagonal, uh, for example, and attack over where your undertow is or your autumn river. Yeah. I didn't play a sight. Right. I'm scared to move my, oh, wait. no, he's not waterbound. Nope, that's just a good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move my flame caller. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna tap my, my flame caller to draw a sight. Okay. And we'll leave it at that. Okay. Pilgrim's just staying there. Just staying there, just chilling. Okay. Just I untap. Thinking I about his journey to come. I will draw a sight. Okay. I was a little nervous. I had actually slightly messed up my play because I have something that requires me to get eight sights. And I have one, two, three, four, five, and I could definitely play here, six, seven, but if you had blocked me here, mm -hmm. and you had blocked me here, I would have only had a total of seven sites available. Oh, so I was, I was quite, it's hard to know, <laughs> I was quite revealed, I was quite re relieved that you didn't draw a site. And, and you know, you, you have to know a little bit of the deck that your opponent may be playing. I'm going to play this Island Leviathan. Oh no! So, um, it's not ready yet. I only, I'm only at six, but two more sites, and then I'm going to be up to eight threshold, and that will turn into an eight power minion, which is going to be awesome. Like a kaiju coming out of the water. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so at the moment, I have um, six mana, and that's a nice amount of mana. So I'm going to attack here for three and see what you do. Okay. Let's start with that. I'm going to take it. So I'm going to go down to 17. Okay. Um, I will play my Hydra. Oh. And I think I'm going to play it over here or, yeah, I'll play it. I'll play it right there. So the, and the Hydra is immune to non-lethal damage. Yeah. So, and what this really should say is it's immune to damage that would not kill it. Okay. So you basically have to do six at once. Yeah. All at once or one lethal. So okay. your, your pit vipers would be enough. Uh, to kill it, um, or six regular damage. It's your turn. Okay, well, after taking a Coral Reef Kelpie to the face, I'm yep. going to draw from my spell book. Okay, here we go. Let's start to be a little bit more uh, aggressive, maybe. I'm going to tap my Flame Caller yeah. and play way back here, Shifting Sands. Oh my gosh. To reactivate the genesis wow. of my nearby abilities, and we're just going to look at that. That was that was great. Blast so off all your three. You're able to wow. That was some really good shifting. Sands. We'll see if later in the game when I'm like, I wish I had. <laughs> that was pretty effective, though. I mean, for a site to do three damage, that's great. I will then uh, move my pilgrim over here on a okay. slow walk. Okay. I'm going to attack with my Ascalon Phoenix, and I'm going to fly over here and attack you for four. Yeah, I can't do anything about that. I'm down to 13. Now we see this question actually come up a lot when it deals with airborne units. If you had had a ground unit there. I could have defended. You could right. have defended, because yeah. I basically fly down to attack. Yeah, you're flying down to attack, and and I the it's more kind of a defensive ability and a mobility ability. Like, you have this diagonal movement, which mm -hmm. is mobility, and also if I'm somehow near you, I will not be able to attack you. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's sort of the significant and then I actually haven't spent any mana. You've not spent any mana. So I'm going to drop a Sacred Scarab here, Scary. which is airborne. And then with the Death Rite, I love them. They deal three damage to each unit when they die in that, yeah. in that uh, region. Quite good. Okay, and that's it. Okay. 
um, at the start of my turn, uh, I think even before I untap, I'm going to use the Maelstrom ability. And I pull all oh, no. uh, minions one step. So they get pulled one step towards yep. the Maelstrom. Oh, here I thought I was being clever. He just, the forces well, of nature. Well, it's airborne, so I'm not going to be able to attack it. Um, but I will be able to at least attack your site and get in some damage. So now I will untap. I will draw a spell, I guess. Ha! This is the other card that requires eight mana, so that's that's going to be fun. Well. <laughs> um, I will I will tap my. I'm at thirteen, so I think I have a little bit of time. And I'm I'm at seventeen, but you do have a, a six power creature ready to do your bidding. So yeah. Um, One might say the tides may turn. Whoa, I like that. <laughs> I really liked that. I will uh, <laughs> tap to play this uh, Summer River. I guess I'm going to put it over Ooh, here. I'm into my zones. Just, yeah, I just want to have plenty of space to play what I want to play. I'm going to use its ability to look at my top site. All right, and my top spell. I'm going to put that on the bottom. I don't, I don't need those guys. They're a little weak at this point in the game. And... Um, and I just, at this point, I feel like if I can get to eight, a lot of good things are going to happen. So while I could attack and do, you're at 17 right mm -hmm. now, I think I would prefer to just defend against this Phoenix and take it slow. Because once I get up to eight, that's going to be more than enough mana, and then I can start using my Wave Shaper's ability every round. So uh, this is good. I'm going oh, I'm going to sit like this. I'm going to leave my... Hydra available to defend, my Sea Serpent available to defend. All right, I'm going to draw a spell then. Okay, and you do untap. Four, five, six. Okay, when I was saying I was... Uh... Next turn, I'm going to be at eight. Yeah, I'm falling behind. I'm going to have a lot of fun things that happen when I get to okay, eight. Okay, so let's do this. Actually, I'm going to tap my yep. Flame Caller to draw a sight. Yeah. Uh, I can't play it because I tap them. But now I know kind of what I'm dealing with going forward. Yeah. I'm going to... Because it seems safe... Allegedly, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, let's. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna actually move my pilgrim back here. Oh yeah, gonna go draw Just, some spells. Who knows? You might be predicting what they you might could. do. The longest route possible. Uh, yeah, it's a long. long I will trip. attack. Uh, I, actually, I'll fly over here and I'll attack your site. Oh, my site, not my. Okay. Um. So I'll take one. I'll just take one. Okay. I'm I down. could I could blow it up on you, but I'm I'm worried that I might need that later. Okay, I'm down to twelve. Um, my phoenix will fly over here. Okay. Get away from me, you scary, scary Hydra. Okay. Which means actually now that I can't defend with it, though. Hmm. It's true. I will be taking six next turn. I which... think you're going to be taking a lot more than six, because this is going to turn into a... That's... Oh, dear. I'm going to be drawing a site and playing it. Okay. Wait a second. You can't bring me to Death's Door next turn. Can you wait that six? How powerful is he? Eight? Eight? Yeah, that's 14. Okay. All right. That's a... Might be possible. Let's, we'll uh, see. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's call it there, and I will prepare to weather the storm. Okay. Good luck to you. Yeah, I guess I will use the Maelstrom. So this guy gets pulled to here. This guy gets pulled to here. The Maelstrom has been used. And now I untap and I draw Sight. That's my whole plan. My whole plan was to get to eight as fast as possible, which I did. Oh, boy. Um, and I will tap. I will play a Floodplain over here. Oh, look at this. That's interesting. Ooh, so I could have didn't. gotten you to death's door. I did not know that I was going to draw a floodplain. If I had known I was going to draw a floodplain, then I could have played it here, flooded, flooded this, and, and then attacked, attacked this. But I didn't think In one turn, would... 17 yeah. damage. Yeah, okay. it would have been 18 damage in one turn. But, <laughs> um, all right, but instead, I'm going to play my floodplain over here in the corner, so my wave shaper may is going to go, go run away. All right, I have eight mana. I will attack you for... I, I don't know that it really matters much to do 14 versus... All right. This guy's going to turn into a... Um, oh. yeah. can, I, can I have a rubble? I oh need my a, God. I will use the Island Leviathan's ability, turning it into a monster. So this uh, rubble is flooded because that's what the Island Leviathan says. It is now a unit. Uh, it's now a minion. Oh my God. Uh, and it has eight power. So I will, um, it was already in play, so mm -hmm. it doesn't have summoning sickness. I will attack you for eight. Okay. Right that seems good. I will be hurt a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I go down to nine. And 
Okay. You were right. not right. I'm from and 17 then, to... And then I'll attack you for six with my Hydra. And then I'm down to three. Yeah. Okay, that was a, a decent turn where I have nothing to defend. I, I really should have left some things open, but <laughs> lessons and, learned. And at, the, and at the start of uh, my turn, and when sites enter play, that's when they produce mana. So mm -hmm. even though I only have right now seven sites, mm -hmm. I actually have eight mana because this Island Leviathan oh, produced mana at the start yep. of turn. So I'll be playing my Diluvian Kraken no! over here. I have no cards in my hand, Okay. but I'm not too worried about that. Yes. Um, so I'm just going to um, sit here like this. My Kraken can defend against yes. attacks, and um, then I'm going to start using my Wave Shaper's ability next round, and oh, it's no. uh, it's your turn. Good luck to you. Okay. okay. <laughs> Good luck to you, Chase. Well then. Um, you might be asking, how did I get here? <laughs> well, one, two, three, four, five. So I, the problem is I, I stopped at six mana, and there would be some nice things that I could get that are powerful in my deck that are just over that threshold. Yeah. That I would want to maybe deal with your eight mana things. Yeah. For some reason, I thought it would be a lot harder for you to get to eight mana. But I, I just I, I sort of slept on that. I just took you know every turn. I just played a site. Yeah. I drew sites and played sites. I I, ta I tapered off too soon. So I'm actually gonna I'm gonna untap. Yeah. Now the real question is. So I'm gonna be down at Death's Door pretty soon. Pretty soon. Probably um, next turn. This is an eight, this is a yeah. six. So I need to start thinking defensively and how I can start pinging you for other damage here. Um, that is a four. To get, does it really matter next turn if I defend myself as long as I have defenses down here? So let's do this. Um, I will draw from my spell book then. Okay. I'm going to tap my Flame Caller yeah. and play a Air Desert down here. So that brings me up to seven mana. Okay, you got seven mana. My Wayfaring Pilgrim is going to enter that realm area. Hey, you get to draw And us. I get to draw a card. Yeah. Okay. Fire spell or ability. I can't really hit it enough to, to do what I want there. So I guess I'm trying to think of like, I, I do need to clear off some of your stuff because they're going to be problems. Sure. But how to do that is the actual question. I guess defensive cards you have. So I think what I'm going to try and do is I will attack your Diluvian Kraken. Let me just make sure I can read his stuff. Oh, it's, it's, it's a tap surface. Okay. Yeah, he has to be submerged for that. So I'm going to attack him for one with my Sacred Scarabs. Okay. I can't. I'm not going to do anything about that. I can't do anything so about he, that. He takes one and then he, my guy blows up uh, attacking your Kraken. So then he blows up for uh, three. Yeah. And I take three. But importantly, so I'm down to nine. The Kraken took four total. Four total. And yep. then I'll hit it for another four with my Phoenix. Yep. And so we trade. And trade. Okay. So now I'm starting to get some of these. So actually, this is maybe a perfect deck for me in that it is I more of my stuff dies. Exactly. I can use something. Exactly. Yeah. So, all right. There's, there's that. And now that I have nothing else on the board, I yeah. think I'll stop. <laughs> I, I decide I'm not doing anything else. So you didn't, you're not casting any spells? I'm not. Okay, sounds so good. I'm going to take some damage next turn. Okay, I, un <laughs> I untap. At the start of my turn, I am going to use the Maelstrom so yep. the Sea Serpent can get pulled a little closer. The Maelstrom only pulls minions, so okay. that's why my Wave Shaper isn't moving. Now, quick question. If you yeah. had multiple Maelstroms... Yeah, they would each trigger, and I could decide the order in which they resolve. Oh, sweet. Yeah, so you could pull back and forth. But it, Maelstrom is unique, so it's fairly rare to have... Um, Maybe in some wacky draft environment or something. Sure, sure. And Mirror Realm would be a site that could copy. Okay. All right, I will draw a spell for the start of my turn. I have gotten enough sites. All right, this is actually an incredibly good draw at this point in the game, which is funny. Normally, minions like this would not be that significant. Um, but this actually may really help me win the game because you're going to be at death's door. So um, I will start by attacking you this site for six. Are you sure? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I go to death's door. Right, I'll put you from three to door. zero. Now, maybe you have something that can take out my Leviathan and my Hydra. And I think if you do, I'll just, I'll just be happy for you. I think that's just going to be okay with me. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and keep moving in. M maybe, maybe you have something amazing, okay. but I'm moving them in. I want to get to you. I will also, I think, move my, I think, I guess I'll leave my sea serpent there. That's fine. 
and then I'm going to move my wave shaper over here to this floodplain because I want to be safe from your projectiles coming at me mm -hmm. and this void is going to protect me. Right. So it's going to be a long time before you're going to be able to um, do something like that against me. And then I'm going to play polar bears. Oh no, that's so, a great card. <laughs> so these polar bears can move as if the top and bottom edges of the realm were connected. All right, go right ahead. That is scary, actually. Thank so you. I'll untap my Wayfaring Pilgrim. Yeah, and I'm I'll noticing very, spell. I'm noticing very carefully that you have, as far as I can tell, only uh, five thresholds. Correct. So that's not enough for the six to take out the Hydra, and certainly not enough for eight to take out the Leviathan. That's right. However. Okay. All right, my flame caller starts. He's doing his like, cool death metal pose okay. here. Okay. I'm gonna cast for seven. Yeah. Major explosion. Okay. Up to two steps away. Great. So it's gonna be seven damage to that location. Okay. Which would be lethal to your. For sure. It definitely Hydra. takes. It takes out the Hydra, and the Leviathan has one, uh, one okay. hit point or one life remaining. Now, right unfortunately, when I use my flame caller ability, if I were to. I've got no more mana, right? I use it all to cast Major yeah. Explosion. You're yeah. at one health. Yeah. If I were to use his Banish My Dead Firemans, I couldn't just banish one. I'd have to use all of them, right? That is what the card banish says. Banish all your dead yeah. fire minions. So all I've got a choice. This guy's pretty slow. Two turns, yeah. Also, but. I just want to note the the Sea Serpent did take um, three. But did four, take three? From, from the diagonal of the, of the, minor, of the Major Explosion. Do I, is there anything else fancy I could do? I used all my mana up, so really I've got to make this decision now, and this might be something I regret later. It, you won't have a long time to regret it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I will tap. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to banish all my oh, wait, minions. Wait a second, wait a second. Point, point of clarification. Actually, you will have plenty of time because um, the polar bears actually died. My plan oh, was they to... Oh, because they exploded my with plan, the... Right, my plan was to, was, to maelstrom, <laughs> was to maelstrom here... And then attack you. But he just did the, a super villain the, the, thing the, the, where he was major, like... The major explosion. Uh, that's right. Me. All right, so are you going to so take out the island? I am. I'm going to yeah, banish all of right. them. And, I, I and think that's right it's sad sure. to lose all those minions. Yeah, that was great. That, that turned out really well. So I, I, I actually had thought you might have major explosion because you'd mentioned something was at seven. <laughs> but I thought that my polar bears were going to um, make it through, but they did not. So that was great. All right. This was really balancing the board. We're back to zero. So starting at the starting from scratch again. Yeah, <laughs> but you're at death's door and I'm at that, not. That's true. That's <laughs> so true. You do have more spells though. All right. What do you got? That's the end of you, my turn. You have four spells left. I do. I got no mana though. That's the problem. Uh, oh, no you know sides? what? You have plenty actually, of sides. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I pilgrim the polar bear blew up. Yeah, go ahead. I'm gonna actually move my pilgrim. Great. Great. All right. On top. Let's see what I draw off the top. All right. This is this is effective. Hopefully um, not more polar bears. I will move my sea serpent here. I will um, play Ennui Undyne here. Oh my gosh. Um, and I will, I guess I'll use my Wave Shaper's ability to flood, um, I guess I'll flood this side over here. Okay, and now just as a point of clarification, so yeah. it gets the bonus of plus one power for every other site in the body of water. With this flooded, yeah, it is one contiguous. Agreed. One, two, oh three, four, God. five, six, seven, eight, nine. She I just is, killed a she, big thing. She <laughs> came back something bigger. She's nine power. Okay. Yeah, your turn. All right. But by the time she gets over there, she won't be in the body of water. That's so. right. That's right. I will draw a spell. Yeah. Oh, let's do. My flame caller is going to. God, do I want to move up? I just make myself closer to you. And all the bad stuff that you have that you bring, I will. I'm gonna play a wildfire. Ah, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna move up. Okay. And then I'm gonna play a wildfire here. Uh, and at the end of each turn, each unit here takes three damage. And then I get to move it. And yeah. basically, we're gonna play like Tron, where I'm gonna go around the br totally. burning stuff. So, Great. So, so that was four, four and yep. I got three left. Yep. I will put down pit vipers for one here, which is Strong. maybe exactly what I needed to deal with. Yeah. Your uh, undui undying, and yeah, that's that's, that's the end of my turn. Okay, where does the wildfire go? Let's go right onto your sea serpent. Okay, so this site has been burned. We have wildfires over here. All right, I untap. I'm not gonna use my um, maelstrom. I will draw a um, site. Oh boy. I mean, I'll draw a spell, sorry. Um, okay, this, this is interesting. This could be useful. I will <clears throat> use the wave shaper's ability and I will flood this site. 
Okay. So now this site is flooded. Okay. From the, uh, and the pit vipers, since they don't have submerge, are tapped. They will not untap at the start of next turn. Okay. Um, and now I'm going to, it's a little strange, um, but I'm going to move my sea serpent here. They are now disabled because they're out of water. I'm going to move. They just jump up on the shore. I'm going to move my. And, and what does disabled mean? So they can't uh, strike and they don't have submerged. They lose all their abilities. Okay. So if I attack them, they wouldn't hit back, they right? They do not just hit take back. The damage. They do still have four power. Okay. Now, Anwi Undyne is a little trickier because if I move her there, uh, she will then be at zero power. Mm -hmm. And then something like a desert could take her out, and I don't really want that. So I'm going to just leave her untapped right there, and then I'm going to play oh. um, uh, Guile Silence. So this says, at the start of your turn, force a target nearby enemy minion, so it could be something like Pit Vipers mm -hmm. if I wanted, um, to take a step towards them. And... Um, that's my turn. The wildfire moves somewhere. I'm gonna move it to the left. Okay, so this has been burned. The wildfire is now here. And it is your turn. A literal river of flame. Yeah. Uh, I'll draw from the spell book. Yeah. Yeah, so these sirens combined with the sea serpent could be, could be a problem for you. How to deal with this? These oh. are disabled right now, now. This does untap. My avatar untaps yep. that, right? So. Sure. Uh, my pit vipers are the ones affected by your yep. wave just, shapers just chicanery. Yep. Hmm. So next turn they will untap unless I use my ability on them again. That's unfortunate. Yeah, it's the wave shaper definitely has an ability to help their waterbound minions get in and, and finish the job. Uh, I'm gonna go <laughs> my flame caller is gonna take a step back. Okay. I've decided. You know, perhaps yeah. a little dangerous up there. <laughs> a little dangerous. Uh, there's, there's sea serpents just <laughs> jumping up on the land. Sure. Sure. So not not great, not okay. ideal. Um, and then, gosh, I'm I'm scared. <laughs> I'm gonna move my my wavering pilgrim to protect my flame collar. Okay. I've got a bunch of stuff I can do. I just don't want to do it right now. So yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off. Okay. And All then right. the wildfire. Now here's the yep. question. Where's I will. Go? Let's have it go up to the guile sirens. Actually. Okay. So this place gets burned. I'm really excited you did that. This goes here. There we go. Okay. All right. So it's my turn. Yeah. I untap. I untap. These guys are disabled right now. I will draw a spell. Very interesting. I will. Um, Read this. I might be in big trouble. <laughs> you might be. Oh, it no. might be coming your oh, way. No. <laughs> it might be coming I was like, your Wait way. a second. That's <laughs> okay. Right. This is uh, <laughs> this is a little bit of overkill, but what? I, I think that uh, I think that I do want to do it. So I'm gonna play Stormy Seas on your um, on your on this site pit right vipers? here. Pit vipers, yeah, you jerk. Because I have big minions. My and snakes. I, I want them. My pit vipers. Right. I'm going to use the flood plane to temporarily flood this site, okay. so that now my sea oh. serpents are like ah some water, uh, <laughs> and then they move and then they move here. This is the one that was flooded because of my yeah. avatar. So, um, all right, and now uh, guile sirens definitely needs to get out of the way. They'll move here. Anwi Undyne still cannot make a lot of progress. I'm scared of deserts. But, but it's now a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it's 6, very 7, big. 8, 9, 10? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'll tap the wave shaper to draw a sight. I don't know exactly that I'll ever play this, but might as well. And it's your turn. The wildfire only has one choice of where to move, uh, and it must go this way. Okay. Uh, it's coming dangerously close to me now. <laughs> we'll see what happens. I, that that uh, laugh fire is never good for me. <laughs> This flooded effect goes away because this floodplain only lasts for the turn. All right. It's your turn. So I'm going to untap. Yeah. I've got my Wayfaring Pilgrim. I've got my Flame Caller. You do. And my uh, Flame Caller is going to do Flame Caller things. And I'm going to play Cone of Flame. Oh, wow. Beautiful. So he's going to do five damage. Did to... you draw a spell or anything? I did not. Okay. If we knew what that was. I don't know what it is. Um, five. Wait a second. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, that's all I meant. No, seven. Six, seven, yeah. All there right. Seven so I'll just I'll just do that then. So flame, uh, cone of flame. Great. So five, three, so these, 
And, then, and it actually does one all the way over oh, here, right? That so, would have been a great, so, so cool finishing one. move right. that I'm using now to Do you, do you not want to do it? No, 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 okay. I'll, I'll do it. I'll take right. the damage. I'm, I'm down to eight. I'm down to eight. You're taking out two of my minions right. for one of your cards, so that's and good. And then... You're moving back there. They walk up. The, okay. The, oh, my the flame color hasn't gone, actually. Yeah, your so. flame color hasn't done. Anything. I'll actually tap and draw a sight just so I feel like I've got like more cards in my hand. It cool. feels like kind of impressive. Cool. And then... At the end of each turn. Yeah, wildfire needs to go somewhere. So it's going to go here. Okay. Okay. Mm. Could be fine. Could be fine. I can go. I got, I got a, a way to zig it. All right. It's the start of my turn. Correct. I will draw a spell. I guess I'll tap the wave shaper and play a, a oh. autumn river here. Okay. And Don't like that. Um, I get to look at my top spell. I don't know. This is not really a finishing card. It's okay, but I'm looking for a finishing card. So I'm going to put that on the bottom. And then I'll play uh, Tide Naiad over here. Okay. And I think that's my turn. So um, the wildfire goes somewhere. I'm going to go away from me, I've okay. decided at All this right. point. Fair enough. So it technically has one more turn. It's your turn. Okay, I draw a spell. Yep, this is untapped. I will tap my flame caller. Yeah. I'm gonna play. Well, let's see. Let's see how things go first. Okay. Um, I'm going to cast Blaze for three. Great. And my pilgrim. Yep. Is gonna zip. So he's gonna go. So it has a total of three movements. So one step, uh -huh. two step, three steps. Okay, that's not and my sight, but sure. You're not actually attacking oh. me here. Oh. It's a rubble. I don't control it. You can do that. One, two. I'll do this. One, two, three. Right. Ending up on. You can end up on the maelstrom. That's and fine. then I'll, I'll attack the maelstrom. Then. Okay. So I. So you did two you damage moved to here. The tide naiads die, and now I take one. That's right. That pilgrim is really getting around. So he's I'm, amazing. I'm down to seven. He's seeing all the sights of the world. He's really doing great. Then uh, that was I put it on the bottom. That's a three. So I'm gonna then spend two. Mm -hmm. To put down a lava salamander, okay. which is a fire spell caster and takes no damage from fire spells. Yeah, very good. Uh, so that's a total of math five. Yep. And then for two, I'll put a uh, I'll put a rimland nomad here. Okay. Just to be in the way of stuff in case. And then I'm gonna tap. And I don't want stuff popping up next to me, but I also want to start like. Opening threats to you, but we'll see. And that's that's it. And I'm gonna move it this way. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Great. All right. The fires burn. All right. So I untap. This is actually really fun. I will. Yeah. This is this, <laughs> this like, has lasted. I'm gonna draw a spell. All right. I'm, I'm trying to hang um, in there, holding on. <laughs> so I will. Um, There's just a big ten creature in the middle of the board. <laughs> yep. Yep. She's big, but not. quite quite big enough to do everything I want. All right, so I will... All right, I guess I'm a little worried about things that blow me up. I know what my bottom spell is. So I could sort of try and tap some of your unit Interesting. Yeah, I don't know that I can get quite far enough. I would really like this unit to be productive, I, but I don't want that to be the biggest big killing blow. I feel like that's it's... embarrassing if we can somehow, <laughs> like, you know. Yeah, it would be nice. <laughs> um, something to work towards, I guess. I will. Um, I'd like to stabilize things a little bit. So I'm going to tap the wave shaper okay. to flood this side again. So the okay. Rimland Nomads get tapped. Um, I will play Deep Sea Mermaids here oh, on the surface. Okay. That lets me draw my bottom most spell. And I had looked at it before because of the river. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a Coral Reef Kelpie. And I'll put the Coral Reef Kelpies right here. And it is your turn. Okay. 
So I'm going to untap my yep. Wayfaring Pilgrim. Oh, the, and the wildfire now tries to oh, go somewhere. Oh, and it goes out. Thing. I wasn't able no, to keep building out yep. fast enough. No place it could go. All right. All right. So I will draw from my spell book. Yep. I'm going to play for two. The Wayfaring Pilgrim. That's right. Wow. You could just play it right there. Oh, and I automatically get it? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, well, in that case, <laughs> yeah. I play my Wayfaring Program yeah. right in the corner, yep. and I draw another spell. Yep, summoning <clears throat> counts as entering. I'm going to risk it one more time. Ugh. I'm going to move. I just, I think i got to start feeling a little bit safer. I'm going to move over there. Okay. And um, my Pilgrim can't really walk out of that easily. Is it worth doing stuff just to get another card? This might be foolish, but I'm going to go for it. I'm going to do Mad Dash on my Wayfaring Pilgrim. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to... You get to draw a card first. Draw a so card. So playing that, draw a card. Okay. And now, choose an ally to give plus one movement. This one? Okay, it has plus one movement. It doesn't have to move immediately. He's going to move there. For... Are, you, are you attacking? Or no, he's going to move and then move... Like So he's going to make a move and attack on those. Great. So are they doing... submerged? So, so I'm going to move... So you're, you're declaring move here, move here, attack these yeah. guys. Yeah. Fine. So move, move, and attack them. Great. So it's a trade. These guys trade. And I do get to draw a card. Absolutely get to draw a card. Mad Dash goes away. That's used up. And Great. now, I'm at seven life. You're making progress. Um, These guys have not done anything yet. They're gonna walk up. Okay. Are they attacking? Uh, yes, they are attacking. Sorry. Okay. So I'm at six now. Um, I will play a. And you've only played. You played a wayfaring pilgrim. And two and mad dash. dash. So you've spent four mana so far. It looks like you have four more mana left. Let's do a. Got a lot of value out of those pilgrims. Yes, they've actually Great. been quite nice. Um, let's do a sandworm here. Okay. All right, and that's it. Your turn. So I untap. Uh, I will think about using the maelstrom, but I will not. And then I will draw a spell. All right, that's fairly useful. Um, All right, poor Rimland nomads. Yeah, they're a little sad. Or, well, they're just quenching their thirst. They're like, this is great. This is amazing. Why leave? <laughs> I'm not really worried about these guys oh, attacking me because they're landbound and I can only, I only have water sites. So, um, all right. I will attack with the Coral Reef Kelpies against your Rimland Nomads. Okay, so two to your three, so I lose them. Yeah. I will use the Wave Shaper um, to flood this site now. Oh, interesting. So that my Ennui Undyne can oh. now move in safely. This is a permanent flooding. And um, I think I'm okay with just taking one more damage from your Lava Salamander. I am a little worried that it's a fire spellcaster. Yeah, okay. So I will drown your Lava no, Salamander. No, but I'm, my cunning I'm, plan. I'm worried about... My Lava Salamander. All right. And it <laughs> is it is your turn. I'm just let the record here. This is Ira Drowner of Salamanders <laughs> and Pit Vipers. And Pit Vipers. <laughs> yeah. What is it? The, the uh, reptilian and uh, you know yep. kingdom. Anyhow, go right ahead. Uh, I will draw a sight. Okay. Drawing a sight. Okay. That has been drawn. Uh, these guys are going to move here. Okay. They're just slowly not able to keep up with anything. Yeah. Um, you have eight I'll mana to spend. Play a uh, Ral Dromedary here. Uh, yeah. I want to hit you, but I don't want to get hit. So that's the yeah. dilemma. Ennui Undyne um, would attack for zero right now, but if I have um, any sort of fancy shenanigans, if I yeah, if I I can use the Wave Shaper to flood this site, and then they'll be able to attack you for one or possibly more. So I'm going to play. I'm going to move my Wayfaring Pilgrim up. Interesting. They won't be able to defend, but okay. I'm going to move my Flame Caller here. Okay. I'm going to play a Raul Dromedary here. Okay, in the corner. Sounds good. And uh, I really wish you hadn't killed my little Salamander. Yeah. That, yeah, that, was, that was unfortunate. You, had, you, yeah. were, you were top decking, right? Or did you have that in your hand no, already? No, I top decked it, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm going to be known. Always, you know, shoot your shot when you got it. Yeah. Um, I think that's all I got. Okay. Yeah, that's it. All right. I untap. And tap. Oh man, and six tap. death door. I draw a spell. Mm hmm. Oh boy. All right, not, not super useful here. Um, I feel a little bit better though that it's, it's gone on such a long game, but a lot of your big stuff died relatively early. I'm trying to think if there's any other, like, yeah. 
Um, incredible. Oh, that's exceptional. There's not two on We and I. Is that there? But there might be. Oh, I don't know. No. <laughs> um, I will. Yeah, it depends how aggressive I want to be here. You have a site in your hand. Correct? I do have a site in my hand. Yeah. It's open information. So I want to get my units in. It's a little tricky to get them close enough. But I think that's probably okay. All right, so I'm going to use the Wave Shaper's ability mm -hmm. to um, flood this site. Okay. So now this is no longer flooded. Yep. And this is flooded. That makes sense. I will then use my flood plane to flood this site. Oh, dear. And now we have a big body of water again. Yeah. Um, and I don't know, maybe this is... Maybe this is a little too, too aggressive. Yeah, strategically, that's that's probably the wrong wrong thing to do. Do you mind if I take that? Go line? for it. Go for it. All right. So I think strategically, the right the right thing to do is. I guess you're gonna play a side. Never mind. Let's just leave it. Let's just leave it. So Anwi Undyne comes in and attacks. Okay. She's attacking for a bazillion. <laughs> and one, I will two, take three, it for five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> ten, eleven. Uh, okay. I'll take eleven, but I'm on the, the, the pilgrim. The pilgrim. Oh, oh, the that's pilgrim. actually sad. I feel bad about you that. Just, Let's. I'm gonna. Ooh, the, 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 the. He's a two. I'll, I'll let man. Yeah. But I resent this. Okay. And then the kelpie. <laughs> the kelpie comes here. Um, and then I play a pirate ship. Uh, here, and then I uh, this flooded effect goes away because that's only from the flood plane. All right, it is your turn. So on we on dine now is only one power. Sweet, temporarily one power. Oh well, I like that. Can we uh, let's? It's your turn. Yep. Was that? Is there a way you could have avoided that? I think maybe if I had been a little more patient, I could have played a site here, okay. and then uh, it would have been a water site and could have connected it up. That might have been well, strategically better. Going for my spells here. All right, so I'm gonna tap my flame caller. Yeah. I'm going to play a site, ping it for one. Okay, it dies. But yep. a, a splash of relief washes over me. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> and then my uh, oh man, I'm landbound. I'm stuck. You're, I'm like, you're landbound. They're gonna move down here. Yep. Just a snake, you know, doing the worm. Yep. Um, perhaps foolish. No, I will move up one. Okay. No, I will stay there. Okay. So I've tapped, but I could still cast spells. Sure. So I'm let's at six. Let's do. Uh, let's hit you for three with firebolts. Down to three. And uh, and I'll play a hillock basilisk. And other minions at rest here or one step in front of the hillock basilisk are disabled. Yep. We'll leave it at that. Great. All right. I untap. I draw a spell. Yeah. I thought that I would get this eventually. Oh no. I play ice lance. Oh, no. I was slowly, <laughs> slowly chipping away. All right. Good, good game. That was crazy, though. Yeah, yeah. That was crazy. My favorite part was when the uh, wildfire was going around. <laughs> For a second, I thought maybe I was going to get burned myself. Yeah, I had two ice lances in the deck. Oh. So I thought that would... So the lava salander, yeah. I had a heat ray, and then I had uh, fire bolts, and I should have just, like, unloaded. Oh, but you was still been at, like, one health. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then I was waiting to just do some giant Kamehameha, like, blow-up thing, but yeah. that was fun. I, oh, yeah, sorry, we gotta go. <laughs> no, that's so, fun. Um, so, uh, if you get any tips for me, leave them in the comments below, or any questions, and we're happy to help answer. And uh, in the meantime, good luck contesting the realm.